Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be an update on the plants. I've got a few house plants, so I'm going to be showing you them. I've also been growing stuff outside, so I'll show you that as well. And we're also going to be doing a bit of potting on today. So if you like the sound of that, please stick around and I hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> Because I'm going to be dealing with some soil, I'm just going to put my hair up quickly. That's better. So, I've got a few house plants that I'm going to be showing you today. I did show them in my bonsai tree planting video. I'll put a card up here if you want to have a look at that. The first one I want to show you is this little house plant here. You can see it there and in my last video I had cut it all back because it was like all like dead but it was all it was like dead but it was like long strands of dead so I cut it all back and it's grown back really healthy so I'm really happy with that I do like it when it's like short like this rather than when it's like long strands so I don't know whether I should just keep cutting it back. The next thing I'm going to show you is this. It's a little living stone. And someone from work was growing like a load of these and she asked if I wanted one. So I was like, sure. So she gave me it. And um, it's been quite small for some time now. I've had it like maybe like a year now, but since moving into this house it's grown a lot more than it did in my parents house so that's good i just keep watering it and hope that it grows bigger because most of these plants i've either bought from like a shop or someone's given me them i don't really know like how to care for them because i'm not really sure the exact species is that what you'd say species of plant it is so I just water them a lot and keep them in light and hope it does well and that that seems to be doing okay for most of my plants so we'll stick with that my next plant is the spider plant that my mum had she took a cutting from her like big one and put it in some water to grow roots and then she gave me that to plant so this is what that is like now it's grown quite big as you can see the roots are coming out of the bottom so we're going to repot this today i went to york i think last week and i got a plant pot from flying tiger which is this i've already put some um compost dirt in it and um yeah we're going to plant it in this today just so it's in a bigger pot and with this plant pot that this spider plant is in that i'm going to repot i'm going to repot our bonsai tree neither me and jacob thought that it was going to like be good we planted three in that video and we left two to cold stratify in the fridge it had to stratify for like two weeks and three months like two different ones and when we went back to them they'd gone on like black and moldy so we just threw them away because it was a bit grim but we've managed to grow one oh so here it is guys ignore the disgusting moldy pot that it's in and the breed of this bonsai tree is acacia del batter i think it's pronounced so there it is oh it looks smaller on camera than it actually is but i'm actually really surprised that it grew and i'm so proud of it it's done so well so we're going to be planting that into the little pot today just so it's out of the moldiness and then yeah that's it really that's my house plants so let's get on and start planting them shall we i'm just gonna try pulling it out so there it is the roots are looking good you can see the roots are looking good and 
I think I remember my mum like teasing roots out when she was repotting. So I'm just gonna like try and loosen them up a little bit. I don't know if I'm doing this right. But then I'm gonna get my other pot and a pen. I'm gonna use it as a dipper and just create a little hole to put this in. Is that big enough? So just create a hole so it's big, so it can fit in, and we're gonna press it down and cover it up a little bit. And that's it really, we'll give it a little bit of a water. I tend to water mine from the bottom. I've seen people water some from the top and some from the bottom, but I like to do it from the bottom. So there it is guys, ready to grow nice and big and healthy. I'm nervous to do anything with my bonsai tree because I don't want it to die. It's taken like six months for it to grow to this size. So I'm hoping it'll stay okay. I repot it, I'm nervous. So I've got a bowl of soil here. I'm just gonna get some in the plant pot. The reason I'm choosing to repot my bonsai tree, or should I say our bonsai tree, because it was actually Jacob's Christmas present, is because the it's like a peat pot that it's in. So it's getting all mouldy around the edge. You can see like, disgusting. So we're just gonna try and tease it out. <laughs> There it is guys, the little sproutling. And again, I'm just gonna create a little hole. It seemed like the roots had gone quite deep in there, so I'm gonna make the hole quite deep. And then I'm just gonna put the roots in. And just put it in like that. And then cover it up with some soil. Ta-da! So that's two of the three repottings that I'm going to be doing today. The last one I'm going to do is another little spider plant seedling my mum's done for me. The roots have gotten really big so we've got another little pot here and we're just going to put some soil in there just like that and create a hole to put it in so just Push it off to the side, make it big enough for the roots to get in and just push it down. The roots are already quite long so that's good. Cute. So there are my three repotted plants. How cute are they? I love that. Look how cute it is. When it's more sunnier, that's not even the right grammar. When it's more sunny, these leaves on the bonsai do tend to like spread out more. So that's why it's not like fully open, but sometimes it is. And I don't know if you can see if it focuses. I don't know if you can see, but here is another little like thing growing so i'm hoping there's going to be like another branch growing so that'll be nice it's nice to see them like growing bigger and growing more branches or leaves or whatever and yeah so there are all my indoor plants done now and i'm just gonna let them have a bit of a soak just to get some water in the new pots and then the only other thing I have left to show you outside, we've got some plants growing. So here we have some potato plants. There should be three. So there's one there, one there, and a little one there. That's just started growing. I haven't seen that one yet. We did plant two pots, but as you can see, this has grown nothing. Well, it's grown some weeds, but 
no potatoes and I spoke to my mum about it and she said that maybe it's because um, the water hasn't been able to escape because of the plastic part and this is in like a canvas bag but this is in plastic so maybe it's rotted and all the potatoes that we planted had died so that's fine but we've got three plants growing in there so that's good and then the other plants we've got three tomato plants and as you can see there's a lot of flowers on them so we'll be getting a lot of tomatoes coming in summer guys hopefully and um i think these two are the same species and then that one's different i'm not really sure which is which so that's good we'll be having a lot of tomato -y dishes in the summer so that's today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. As I said earlier, if you do recognise any of these house plants and you know how to take care of them, leave a comment in the comment section below because I would like to know how to keep these little plant babies happy. That's cute. <laughs> Cringe. <laughs> if you did like this video, please leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. And if you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stick around for more plant updates as well as other types of videos. Bye guys!